Hello everyone and welcome to a video that I am excited to film here. I mean, it's a tough topic to talk about. I don't like talking about it. I am insecure. But, you know, I think this is one of those times where we need to break the stigma, talk about things, make people feel less alone out there. And I'm excited because hopefully I'm about to try out a product. Well, I will be trying out a product and hopefully it will actually work. So, as many of you know, I have made many videos, not many, but I've made a handful of videos about this before, but I am, I have female pattern baldness, I guess is what it would be called. I do have thinning hair. I am extremely insecure about it. I hate it. <laughs> I already had thin and fine hair to begin with, but as I've aged, it hasn't gotten any better. I'll say that much. I mean, I guess I'm just sharing with you all my hair story here. So I would say I started noticing that my hair was thinning out couple years ago, a few years ago. And I mean, it wasn't ever anything dramatic, you know? It's not like I would go and wash my hair and like huge chunks would fall out or anything. It was mainly just like, if I was combing my hair, I would notice, you know, my I could see more of my scalp or like in videos here, if I bend down at certain angles, you can certainly see through my hair a lot more and you can see my scalp more basically and it sucks it's probably if not my biggest insecurity it's definitely one of my biggest insecurities like i know guys don't like going bald either but i feel like especially with girls female pattern baldness it's just like shame you know i i don't know I don't know what it, I mean, I think it's mainly, it stems from, you know, hair is supposed to be this super feminine, beautiful quality. And it can be, like, beautiful hair is beautiful. I've always envied people that had super thick and glossy, just beautiful hair. And I've never had that, even before my hair started thinning out. Like, I, growing up, I'll be, you know, throwing some photos up here on the screen, but growing up, I had pretty straight hair as a child, and I guess as a kid, I didn't care. But, you know, even when I was born, my dad called me a cue ball. Like, I never really had a lot of hair. And, you know, as I got older, I started to get curly hair. It kind of, you know, just developed into whatever the actual texture of it is. I grew out of my straight phase and then it was just frizzy curls, you know? I didn't really know how to deal with it or what to do with it and so it just kind of looked frizzy and, you know, whatever. It just looked, it looked like whatever. But I usually had my hair pretty dang long when I was a kid. Eventually, oh awkward puberty teen years, I had some questionable hairstyles. I did sport the very extremely cute and in fashion Cindy Brady pigtails, yes. Yes, I know. I was adorable. And I had so many friends that tried to be like, Cassie, you would look so much better if you didn't do that with your pigtails. But like, for me, I loved it because I could get out of the shower, put my hair in pigtails, and they would make that perfect ringlet on both sides. And then for the next day hair, I could just take out the pigtails and brush it out and I would have like lovely ringlet curls. I mean, it's whatever, but <laughs> yeah, I did that probably from like 6th grade to ninth grade. I was a cute kid. I tried all sorts of things. My mom ended up finding a hairdresser for me and my brother to deal with our curls because we didn't know how to manage it and the curls did not come from my mom, so she didn't know how to handle it. So we went to a guy that was like a curl expert. He had beautiful, thick, Robert Plant-esque curly hair. And he, you know, kind of taught us, you know, how to use a diffuser and all this stuff. And so I did that and I just kind of rocked my hair how it was naturally. And and at the time I didn't think I had thick hair because I still did have quite thin hair but looking back on those pictures I'm like oh if only if only because even when I was living in Boston you know when I started my YouTube channel I feel like I had much thicker hair it wasn't thinning yet and I look back on some of those videos and I'm just like dang my hair looks so full and so thick and then my hair started thinning and I've mainly, I feel like, kept it short like this just because I feel like that makes it look less thin. And plus I just hate having hair touching my body now. 
<laughs> especially during the summer when it's hot like it is. But I've tried all sorts of things throughout the years. I mean, I definitely have experimented with hairstyles. I've had super long hair. I've had pixie cuts. I've had short bobs. I've had years where I would go and do nothing but straight hair. I would straighten my hair. And eventually I just didn't care anymore because it didn't feel like anything I did was worth it because I felt like my hair was always gonna look ugly no matter what I did so why put in the effort I should just wear it the way that it is and for the most part I still feel that way but I can't hide the thinning and it sucks it really is a blow to my self-esteem that's for sure especially like being on a public platform like this where you are scrutinized for your looks Definitely my weight and my thinning hair are the things that I get comments on the most when people are trying to bring me down. And I have tried multiple different systems. Like I tried, I think I started by trying taking pills that were like biotin. I tried, I think it was the Phyto brand, but then I ended up stopped taking those when I became vegetarian or around that time because they had fish oil in them. And I felt like they did work, but like nothing crazy good. I don't know, looking back. Back. that's how I feel and I've also tried Nioxin which is like a they had like a shampoo and conditioner and a scalp treatment which I did a whole video on that worked but I I personally didn't see enough of a change and also with a lot of these things it's like you know you do it and you use the product and it works you know short term but then the minute you stop using the product you may as well have never used it in the first place. Like, your results don't stay with you. I've also tried uh, Rogaine for women, which is what I've been using recently, but I just, I, I don't know. I feel like people have said my hair looks thicker, but I look at my scalp and I see things in videos and I'm just like, I don't see it. I personally do not see results with it. I don't know, maybe it's because I do look at myself in the mirror every day, but for me it hasn't been anything noticeable or making me want to repurchase or keep on testing it out, you know? So the big thing that I am excited to share with you all today here is the new thing that I am trying out. This portion of the video I feel so lucky and so grateful that iRestore reached out to me. This is sponsored. This is a review. For them. I did get this product for free to test out here, but as always, my bottom line is that I need to have the freedom to be 100% honest with you guys. Like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But my hope is that it's gonna work and it's gonna work really well because, oh my gosh, the before and after photos that I see on their website, oh my god, look incredible. I want that. Like, if I can get that for my hair and my scalp, I want you guys to know. And I'm hoping that this is going to be the reason why. So iRestore is a hair growth system company. It is FDA cleared, clinically proven, like there are no bad side effects. And I say that because I know I was scared when I first saw this, but this is laser therapy. Like there are actual lights being used to treat your scalp. It is low level light therapy that is supposed to be clinically proven. Like I said, I have looked through the studies and whatnot and it does look like this is actually a proven thing that works for hair growth. Not only to strengthen the hair that you have on your head already, but also to help grow strands that you don't have anymore. So that's, oh, I really, oh you guys, I really hope so. What you get? with this. They do sell things individually on their site, but they also have kits that you can get. They did send me a kit to test out. In one of the kits, you get the anti-hair loss shampoo, so I will be trying that out. You also get an anti-hair loss serum, which I will also be testing out. And then also their three-in-one hair growth formula dietary supplement tablets. These are vegetarian, vegan friendly. They don't have gelatin in them, so that's awesome. And then the thing that are in these are supposed to be good. Biotin, saw palmetto, and DHT blocker are all supposed to be ingredients that help with 
restoring your hair. This is the battery pack. So you've got a charger that can be clipped onto your pants, you know, a pocket, whatever. And this will support up to a week of laser therapy. So it is, I think you use it every other day for results. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> As you can see, it says, oh, well, we can't see actually, but it says it is FDA cleared. And here it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited and nervous all at the same time. Ooh, it really does feel like it's from the future. So it's got all these different squishy bits here so that it should be super comfy. It's very lightweight. And then you can see all of the little bulbs and stuff in there that are hopefully gonna make my hair grow. I don't know. I think I have a normal sized head. Yep, this, this does fit. Oh my gosh. I really do. I feel like I'm from the future. So this comes with a remote control and I plugged in the battery pack into the wall and then you're supposed to put this into the controller. Hey oh. Oh god. Okay. And then we push power and this has your 25 minutes set on there so you can start which I will do. Oh my gosh, you guys! Oh, I'm so, I just, I want this to work so badly. Remote control fits very nicely in the palm of my hand and you can see it times it for you. So like I said, you do this every other day and it is for 25 minutes each session and the cord is really quite long. So, you know, if you just wanna be sitting on the couch or whatever while this is going on, watch a TV show, you know, it's the length of a TV program really. Or if you actually want to be walking around while you have this on, maybe Maybe you're making dinner or whatever the case is, you can do the wireless as well. Just plugging this in to the remote, then this slides in there nicely and you can just have it clipped to yourself. Oh, this is so nifty. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just feel like you guys, if you, I mean also men, but especially women, if you have not experienced having thinning hair, I can't explain to you how awful it is. I really can't. Like the amount of shame that I feel like it brings. And you know, not everyone, some people certainly are much more confident than other people, but for me, it's a huge, I hate it. I know I shouldn't feel ashamed, you know, it's a genetic thing, whether you have thinning hair or not, but I still feel like it is a shameful feeling and almost more so than like having really bad acne, which I have had a lot in the past, you know, especially when I was growing up. That also has a shameful feeling connected to it, don't get me wrong, but I feel like since acne is seemingly, I guess I don't know the actual statistics, but I feel like acne is much more common and widespread. It's not quite as shameful or something. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people think like, oh, like, why don't you just must not take care of yourself or whatever it is. No. It's just a genetic thing. I know at least one of my aunts on my dad's side, I'm pretty sure I got this, you know, condition or whatever from my dad's side of the family because a lot of the women on that side have thinning hair and it's even more obvious, I mean, for them because they have like dark, pretty much black hair, you know, and me having darker brown hair, you know, it's just more noticeable than if we were to have blonde hair. Not to say blondes have it any easier. It's just noticeable when we have a pale scalp like we have and then, the darker hair. It's just the contrast is more and I just want this to work you guys. This is super comfortable like I wouldn't be able to headbang or anything with this on but like if I were just sitting there watching TV or even like if I'm editing a video or something this is really lightweight. It's really comfy. It's not burning or it doesn't even feel hot like it just feels like I've got a thing on my head like a super advanced advanced low light therapy on my head and I am putting all of my good energy in it as well saying grow hair this, I think, needs to be used for a minimum of 16 weeks to see any sort of results, which, I mean, most hair growth products are that way. There is no instant thing. I feel like even people who get hair transplants, it's not an instant thing, right? I could be wrong about that. But just having it be safe, effective, drug-free, all that, I am so excited. And most of all, I'm just excited to try something new. All right, so here we go, you guys. I have been sitting here for the 25 minutes. This is about to go off. Does it beep or anything? Yes, it does, so that's great. In case you lose track of time. And then my memory card ran out of storage here, but 
there you go there was me trying out the iris door system for the first time at least the device that you put on your head i'm gonna go ahead and unplug this thing from the headpiece and then i'm pretty sure you just plug it in yep to this battery pack and then the green light comes on and i will have that charging so that next time i don't need to have it plugged into the wallet. I mean, it'll work in any case, whichever way I try it. So hopefully my hair follicles will be absorbing all of this light energy and metabolize to help make some of my hair grow back. That would be, to me, it would be a miracle. I would be so, so happy. So I will update you guys in four to six months since, you know, like I said, that is the time period. But for now, I'm excited to keep on testing this. I'm going to do it religiously, just like they said to, so that we can see the full results. If you guys want to join me on this hair growth journey, iRestore does have a 100% money back guarantee. So I know this stuff is pricey, but at least, you know, try it out. And then if it doesn't work six months later, you can return it and get your money back. And if it does work, you have wonderful hair on your head now. It seems like a win-win situation to me, but it's also awesome they are providing you guys with a discount code. So if you do want to try this out yourself, you can use my code TT150. And the 150 stands for $150 off of your system. Yeah, big money savings. So use it if you have the same hair insecurities that I do, or you know, whatever the case is, if you wanna use my code, I say, do it. Do it. <laughs> I know I'm excited to test this out and it would make me so happy if you guys got the same results that I did if you are also suffering with thinning hair. So yeah, I think that is about all I can tell you guys for now. Thank you again to Iris Store for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and just hearing what I am about to be testing out for the next while here. If you did enjoy this video, found it helpful and informative, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!